And so we're going to stay here. We're going to wait for them to get back. And then when they come back and we get a report about the U.S. Attorney's Office, we're all going to march down straight up Temple Street to City Hall. And we're going to join our brothers and sisters there at the Occupy LA. They've helped us promote today's event. A lot of them are here with us today. We're going to go down and, uh, and be there with them. And then uh, those of you who are interested may choose to use that time to go into City Hall and to talk to city council offices about medical cannabis. Because while the federal government is pushing on states, they're pushing on cities and on counties. And medical cannabis opponents right here in the city of Los Angeles have been moving to ban cooperatives and collectives. And we want to make sure we put make a line in the sand here in Los Angeles and say, no, we will not bow to federal pressure. We will not let them ban cooperatives and collectives right here in the city of Los Angeles. There is a, a statewide coalition of organizations and activists who are working to stop the federal crackdown and stop the attack on patients' access. And this process is going to unfold over many weeks and many months. Many of you were here back in 2007 and 2008 when we were fighting this same fight when we were down at, at the federal building protesting almost every single week where there was another DEA raid in Los Angeles. Well, we may have to stand back up and fight like that again. And it's going to happen because we're going to put political pressure on our elected officials for them to put pressure on the Department of Justice. It's already happening in Washington, D.C. Congress people like Dana Roybach are already speaking up to the federal government about the waste of federal resources and the fundamental injustice of using federal law enforcement to target patients' access. We're also seeing right here in California people like Senator Mark Leno or Assemblymember Tom Amiano speaking up publicly, holding press conferences of their own, talking about the injustice of the federal attack on safe access, about how it interferes in their ability to regulate medical cannabis right here in California. We're going to be putting that pressure on people, and we're going to do it using grassroots pressure, one of the most powerful tools we have. And then between now and the end of the year, it is the goal of Americans for Safe Access to put one patient in every single district office, state and federal, in the state of California. We're going to put someone in everyone, Riverside, San Bernardino, San Diego County, Los Angeles, all over the state. We're going to be putting people in those district offices so that our elected representatives know that this is still important to the, uh, the people who put them in office. And so I need all of you to participate in that process. We're also going to be launching a new proactive media campaign. We're going to be reaching out to tell the patient story because the patient story sometimes gets lost in the law enforcement story. We want to make sure that the patient's faces are at the front of this movement. And we're going to be fighting back in court everywhere you can. If you guys have probably heard already that we filed a lawsuit in federal court challenging the rescheduling decision, challenging the fact that cannabis has no medical value. We're going to be pushing back in federal court there. We're also going to be standing behind the victims of this crackdown, and that's going to include the patients, the growers, the providers, but also the elected officials, the cities and counties who are being targeted, who are being uh, attacked because the federal government is expanding the circle of victims, and we want to make sure that the more they push, the more we push back. And so I want to encourage every one of you who is here today, if you're not on a mailing list, get on the mailing list so we can keep you plugged in here and make sure that the folks upstairs in this building can hear your voice.